Hello and welcome to everyone. Now in this video we are going to learn about what are actually the x centers of a triangle and we are also going to derive the formula of the coordinates of the x centers. You must be knowing those big formulas through which we find the coordinates of the x centers if the coordinates of the vertices of the triangle are given. So now let's begin. Now it's point to, to, to be noted that this video is in the series of the for the different points of a triangle. So have a uh, have a look on those videos also along with watching these videos. Now those videos will be coming up in couple of days. Now for continuing this video, I will believe that the whoever watching is must have a basic knowledge about the solutions of triangle, about the in radius, x radiuses, etc. Now let's begin with it. So first let's make up a triangle. Let's name it ABC. Now the definition of x centers of a triangle is that it is the point of intersection of one of the angles internal angle bisector and the other two's external angle bisector. Now you must note that there will be a total of three x centers of a triangle. Now why? Because you must know that suppose we are considering the internal angle bisector for triangle angle A and the external angle bisectors for the other two angles. Then we can have a x center and we can also have a x center when we are considering angle B or angle C for the internal angle bisector and the other two respectively for the external angle bisectors. So it is a point of note that there there must be three x, x centers for a triangle. Now let's draw the x centers. So now first let's draw the angle by internal angle bisector for angle A. Now let's extend angle AB and AC. Now let's draw the external angle bisectors from B and C. Now we can find a point where the, all the three lines intersect. Now this point is the x center with respect to angle A. Now let us define the in center of this triangle ABC as I and the x center as I1. Now you may remember that in center is also the center of a circle which will, which will touch all the three sides of the triangle. That is, we can have a radius like here R, which will, which is actually called as the in radius of the in center. Now, similarly, like in, uh, in similarly for in and x centers also, we have a x radius because the circle whose center will be the x center will touch the side BC and the extended side of AB and AC, and this line R1 will be the x radius of the x center. Now, to find the coordinate of I1, we will have to find some ratios so that very technically we can apply the section formula so, so as to find the uh, coordinate of the x center. Now, in triangle AIE and triangle AI1 and D, you may note that sine of angle of A by 2 will be equals to R by AI and also will be equals to R1 by AI1. So, we can write AI1 by AI equals to R1 by R equals to S of tan of A by 2 by S minus A of into tan of A by 2. Now, here S is the semi-perimeter and this formula is actually from the properties of triangle and especially properties of in radiuses and x radiuses. So, if you don't, if you are confused about it, please refer to the properties of triangle. Now here, if we cancel out the tan term and expand S, then we will get AI1 by AI as A plus B plus C by 2 and divided by A plus B plus C by 2 minus of 2, which will then be equal to A plus B plus C by B plus C minus A. Now subtracting 1 from both sides, we will be getting a very important and beautiful equation that is I I1 by AI will be equals to 2A by B plus C minus A. Now here we got two very important equation that is AI1 by AI and II1 by AI. Let's remove all the other stuff and keep these two equations. Now dividing these two equations both we will get a very important ratio that is AI1 and II1. 
Now you must notice that we have the coordinate of point A, the coordinate of point I that is in center and also the ratio in which the point I1 is dividing the points A and I externally. Now applying the, uh, the section formula for external division, we can easily find the, the coordinate of the X center. And you must also remember that there must be three coordinates. So for the coordinate with respect to angle B and angle C will be I2 and I3 respectively. Now you may notice that the, ang the, co the coordinate of the X center whose internal angle bisector is taken into account that the, the, the coefficient of that angle side has a negative sign. Now that was all about X centers of a triangle. Thank you.